we had this one client who was dealing with seizure disorder. We've had people with PTSD and Asperger's and a variety of different conditions. But this woman with seizures, the dolphin would not leave the area of her head when she's laying on her back in the water, just kept echolocating. And the marine mammal specialist who wanted to move the dolphin away, she said, this dolphin will not move from this woman's head. What we get out of that is pretty dramatic changes with some people. We know there's a lot of echolocating going on. This woman had a pretty transformative experience. It's remarkable. I'm asking, you know, for, for women that have been raped, for a lot of the guys that have been on this show, people everywhere experience a lot of trauma. This round piece here is your emotional cortex. This is what's really involved the brainstem and this limbic area with PTSD. Right before we started this podcast, you mapped my brain. Anyone who's in the military who's served, you know, has heard enough rounds going off, had enough things that, that could have created multiple concussive forces to the brain. And in your case, here's what we see. That's the way I think about this. What can we do to improve the function of this person's brain so that they feel better and can carry on with their life in a, in a contributing way with, with their family, with work? If that's what's going on with my brain and, and I went to your treatment center, what would be the next step?